Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Early sprouted whiskers. Get in the grind, they laugh. Me? Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yen, leave her alone. You don't understand. If we can learn where... I understand, and I'm still asking you to stop. You're right. Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvarg? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into. But a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, 
Yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Witcher, beg your pardon. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll we'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be more, Clark. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. Shank! Not, not again! Not again! He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. You. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object? Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen? Look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely. Trails clear, should lead me to him. Light prince, Craven trod carefully. Victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. 
Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Lots of prints. Old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Symbol of Freya. Story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs of those plowing heroes. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> The moral is... You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters! The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again! Willing to talk now? Only now can I. So much is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, 
you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True treasure. Head away. Yours. Just help me. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not uh, the garden uh, to which I'm bound, even. But uh, the hunger. Uh, Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Throat. Like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Wouldn't count on it. Fool, you can kill me once, twice, thrice, but in the end, I shall conquer. Best lift the curse. Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? What a witcher ought to. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it. Or it's just locked. Gotta go around. So I'm right under the end. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh. 
putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Ciri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She's more me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell! Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where 
am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry. But I must get to Drown Dead Rock. As fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes. I'm very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Good. Make your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! All right, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. yourself in a towel. Well, whatever makes Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mum, she's from the continent. She's shy. I was worried about drafts. A lung infection's the last thing I need right now. See, Astrid? Girls your age can be sensible after all. Sensible girls aren't tossed on shore by the waves. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals.
say. Back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. No, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. No, that's not right. I wasn't in a shipwreck. Hmm. So, what brings you to our shores? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skjall? Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjall's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Regards to your father. Television. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what? What? But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? That's right. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye. Me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I go and... I can look after myself. Yeah! 
What? What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him and so us! But he sold him! To whom? No! No! Be gone. You should tell them. Hear my name. Be gone, I say. <laughs> shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Nice of you to be so concerned for the corpse. Much more than you were for me. What? What happened to the garden? It died. 
Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We'd every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Didn't learn much, though. Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing is clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance... That thing might be Siri. That... well... She's been transformed by some curse. Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must... Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Siri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that, lest he remind you of it himself. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Ciri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. 
It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Yara, you dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keel haul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilf Guardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound and slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex. Multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. <laughs> Strong as he looks. Greetings. Praise Freya. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. Can't wait. You're daft. You're alone. What's your plan, eh? Let me show you. I serve the goddess and her folk. What can I help you with? You, Svana. You're about the hero's pursuits. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits. Our races differ from those on the continent. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he's the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their mounts. Explains the name. They're an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. 
bit of exercise never killed anyone. So, where are the races held? The first three on Ard Skellig. Whoever wins each at least once returns here to Hindusfjall to face last year's best rider in a final pursuit. Gotcha. What's his name? You mean hers. Astrid of Speakerog, known as the Vipress. Lovely as monikers go. And completely deserved. Good luck, Witcher. May your deeds bring the goddess pleasure. Your very names be cursed. Key? Ramond? Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key? Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief. You rogue. You horseman. You worthless bastard. I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Have a bite of this. Wanna lift the curse? Say it the same. Last you were here. Relax, this is different. This'll work. Better be true, or I'll rip you! Tread you! Ah! What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. For as I know, curse doesn't allow for that. Oh, son, you tracked me, deceiver! Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome. You. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg. Got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone. For good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred and strength. <laughs>